Coming up on 5-Minute News. Hurricane Ian en route to strike Florida as a Category 4. Ex-pupil wearing swastika kills 15 in Russia. And NASA test crashes spacecraft into oncoming asteroid. It's Tuesday, September 27. I'm Anthony Davis. Hurricane Ian was forecast to hit the western tip of Cuba as a major hurricane and then become an even stronger Category 4 with top winds of 140 miles an hour over warm Gulf of Mexico waters before striking Florida. As of yesterday, Tampa and St. Petersburg appeared to be among the most likely targets of the first direct hit by a major hurricane since 1921. Authorities in Cuba were evacuating 50,000 people in Pinar del Rio province, sent in medical and emergency personnel, and took steps to protect food and other crops in warehouses, according to state media. A surge of up to 10 feet of ocean water and 10 inches of rain was predicted across the Tampa Bay area in Florida, with as much as 15 inches in isolated areas. That's enough water to inundate coastal communities. As many as 300,000 people may be evacuated from low-lying areas in Hillsborough County alone, County Administrator Bonnie Wise said. Some of those evacuations were beginning yesterday afternoon in the most vulnerable areas, with schools and other locations opening as shelters. Floridians lined up for hours in Tampa to collect bags of sand and cleared store shelves of bottled water. Governor Ron DeSantis declared a statewide emergency and warned that Ian could lash large areas of the state, knocking out power and interrupting fuel supplies as it swirls northward off the state's Gulf Coast. A gunman wearing a swastika t-shirt killed 15 people, including 11 children, and wounded 24 at a school in Russia on Monday before committing suicide. The attacker, a man in his early 30s, who was named by authorities as Artem Kazantsev, killed two security guards and then opened fire on students and teachers at school number 88 in Izhemsk, where he had once been a pupil. Russia's investigative committee, which handles major crimes, says it was looking into the perpetrator's suspected neo-Nazi links. Checks are being made into his adherence to neo-fascist views and Nazi ideology, they said. Investigators released a video showing the man's body lying in a classroom with overturned furniture and papers strewn on the bloodstained floor. He was dressed all in black with a red swastika in a circle drawn on his T-shirt. The investigative committee said of the 24 people wounded, all but two were children. Regional Governor Alexander Brechelov said surgeons had carried out a number of operations. He said the attacker had been registered with a psychoneurological treatment facility. Investigators said the man was armed with two pistols and a large supply of ammunition. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said President Vladimir Putin deeply mourns the deaths. He described the incident as a terror act by a person who apparently belongs to a neo-fascist organization or group. Russia has seen several school shootings in recent years. Protests were seen yesterday not just in Moscow and St. Petersburg, but in the remote far north provinces after President Vladimir Putin announced a partial mobilization to call up hundreds of thousands of reservists to fight in Ukraine. A NASA spacecraft rammed an asteroid at blistering speed on Monday in an unprecedented rehearsal for the day a killer rock becomes a threat to planet Earth. The galactic slam occurred at a harmless asteroid 7 million miles away, with the spacecraft named DART plowing into the space rock at 14,000 miles per hour. Scientists expected the impact to carve out a crater, hurl streams of rocks and dirt into space, and most importantly alter the asteroid's orbit. 
telescopes around the world and in space aimed at the same point in the sky to capture the spectacle. Though the impact was immediately obvious, Dart's radio signal abruptly ceased, it will be days or even weeks to determine how much the asteroid's path was changed. The $325 million mission was the first attempt to shift the position of an asteroid or any other natural object in space. Monday's target was a 525-foot asteroid named Dimorphos. It had been orbiting the Sun with its twin for eons without threatening Earth, making it an ideal save-the-world test candidate. Launched last November, the vending machine-sized DART, short for Double Asteroid Redirection Test, navigated to its target using new technology developed by Johns Hopkins University's Applied Physics Laboratory, the spacecraft builder and mission manager. The anticipated orbital shift of 1% might not sound like much, scientists noted, but they stressed it would amount to a significant change over years. Planetary defense experts prefer nudging a threatening asteroid or comet out of the way given enough lead time, rather than blowing it up and creating multiple pieces that could rain down on the Earth. Multiple impactors might be needed for big space rocks or a combination of impactors and so-called gravity tractors, not yet invented devices that would use their own gravity to pull an asteroid into a safer orbit. You can subscribe to 5-Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app, ask your smart speaker, or enable 5-Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Subscribe, rate, and review online at 5minute.news. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health, and climate, delivering independent, unbiased, and essential world news daily.